Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up Selfie Store. So with Selfie, you'll be able to sell basically any product online for free. Selfie is a platform that allows you to sell digital products, print on demand products, and also physical products. You can also create a membership platform or website using Selfie. To get started, you're going to go on to Selfie.com. And they offer a 14-day free trial period. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. You are going to tap on Start Free Trial. From there, you can sign up using your Google account or your email address. Once you are signed up, you will be redirected to this page. From here, you can type in the name that you would like to give your store. So I'm just going to call it Jason Tess. After you have done that, you can add your store link right here. Then you will tap on next. Once you have done that, you can select what type of item you would like to sell, whether it is digital downloads, digital subscription, physical products, or print on demand. I'm going to be selecting all four. Then you can select the category that best describes your product. Then from there, you can tap on done. Once you're finished, you'll be redirected to your dashboard. This is how your selfie dashboard looks. Once here, you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on products. After selecting products, you can see the different type of products that you can create. So you can either choose to sell an ebook, music, videos, software, any digital product, or you can use their platform to do print on demand. You can use it to set up a subscription plan. You can use it to sell physical products. You can also use it to offer freebies to build your email marketing list. Yes, with Selfie, you'll be able to create an email marketing list. For example, you can go over to the left-hand menu option and you could tap on email marketing right here and you can see that they allow you to create a campaign. So you can either choose to create a campaign from scratch or you could choose to edit Let's say you are doing some form of selling, let's say digital products are so on, and you would like to set up a cart abandonment email campaign, you can do that by tapping on cart abandonment right there, and you can configure and set it up. Now, to add product, let's get back to that. For example, let's say you'd like to add a digital product. You could select digital product, then from here you could upload the product that you would like to offer, then you could add the product details and product description. Once you have done that, you can select the product category right here and you could upload a cover image. So let me upload a cover image real quick, just for example sake. Let's say this and let's say my digital product. Let me select something from my computer. Let's say this is the item that I'm selling. All I would need to do now, I'm going to simply add a product name. So I'm just going to add free product test. Then you can add a product description right here. So let me say this is just, this is a test product. This is a test product. After you have added in your description, you can scroll down. You can set the price that you would like to sell it for. And you can also choose if it you would like to add a stock count or make it unlimited. You can also add different variants if you want. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save product. And you can see that we have added our first product. If you would like to view it in store, you can tap on that. And you can see how the product page looks right here. So this is how it looks at the moment. I will also be showing you how to customize it. If we were to go back and tap on print on demand, for example, you could tap on add new product in the top right hand corner. From here, you can choose the type of item that you would like to add your design to. So let's say we would like to add our design to this cap. You can select hats and you can see the different type of hats right there. So if we were to select, for example, the bucket hat, after you have selected the hat from here, you'll be able to add your design. So you can see the hat right there. All you'll need to do is scroll down a bit, then tap on add graphics. After tapping on add graphics from here, you'll be able to upload your file. So you can tap right here where you see, let me tap on the X to close out. 
after tapping on add graphics you'll tap on i agree then from here you can tap on browse your computer and you could select a design that you would like to use so let me see if this design could work so i'll simply select the design once you have selected the design you're going to give it a few seconds while it is being added once it has been added as you can see right there you can scroll down then tap on continue after selecting continue from here you can add in the product name after adding in the product name you can scroll down and you could select a category you can also set up the price right here and based on the price that you set you will be able to estimate the amount of profit that you will be able to make as you can see right there once you're finished you're going to tap on save product and by the way you could order a sample if you want and you can see it is now finished if we were to tap on view in store you can see how it looks right here so you can see it there you can see how it looks and that's basically it that's how you'll be able to add print on demand products to your selfie store now when it comes on to subscription you can tap on add new product and from here you will be able to set up subscriptions so you could upload your product files add in the product details and then scroll down it is basically the same then set up the price and set up the frequency right here that you'd like to charge and you can also sell physical products you can also offer freebies and you'll be able to monitor your sales by tapping on orders you will be able to view the customer information and subscribers by tapping on customers. You can also further edit how your store look by tapping on store settings. From here, you could tap on customize store from the right hand menu option. After you have selected customize store, you will be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page, you can now go through and edit each section so for example i could select this section then from here i could change the card size as you can see right here to my liking you can also scroll up and you could change the font style and size and you can edit each page by tapping in the top left hand corner from here we can select the different pages and we can also edit the navigation and so on so you can see there if we were to select subscription if we had subscription you will be able to edit it and that's basically it once you're finished you will tap on publish in the top right hand corner and your store will now be live but we are going to close out of the editor page once out of the editor page if you would like to set up payments which more than likely you need to do that to receive payment you are going to connect your stripe account you can also connect your paypal account you can also set up shipping by tapping on shipping from the left hand menu option. If you would like to offer discounts, you can offer discounts by tapping on that from the bottom left hand corner. And as I was saying earlier, you can set up email marketing. You can also set it up so that persons get a small commission whenever they promote your product and get a sale. So you can set up your own affiliate program using Selfie by tapping on affiliate program from the left hand menu option hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative it was just a quick walkthrough of how to use the selfie platform thanks for watching